Hello there guys, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about looking for your first color in doing your pastel um, on your model horse. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, what colors would be best for somebody that's first starting out so you don't feel so frustrated. Um, so first off, when we're looking for a color, we need to find some colors, but of course we need some magazines or some sort of reference photos. Google is a great place for finding photos, but the problem is, is that if you don't have a printer and you don't want to spend the money to print the photo to take to your studio, um, then, you know, you're wasting ink, number one, and also you may only get, you know, partial or maybe not even have any of that photo when it comes to having ink readily available. So my best thing that I like to do is because I'm a horse owner, um, I go to the feed stores, uh, the like Cow Ranch or Olson's or, you know, almost any of those stores will have free magazines. Okay. They're like catalogs. All right. But the first thing that I was like, if you're a horse lover, um, you can get the Horse and Rider magazine. You know, it's got a bunch of training articles and stuff in here. But generally, you know, you're limited on photos in here because they're kind of just random articles. You know, they're not, they don't have a lot of, um, like, just nice photos. Like, you know, you get a couple photos here and there, but they're, they're not just all that great. Um, another one that we get here in Arizona is the Arizona Quarter Horse. Um, it's a free giant book and this thing has a lot of photos but the problem with this one is is that it is mostly in black and white. Um, and then also a lot of these horses in here are just solid bay or black and white like this or they're just not that great. Um, you know, you may get lucky and find a nice little picture here and there. But most of them are bay, chestnut, black, you know. So there's not a lot of really interesting colors in here. Um, or markings. The next one we get is the Arizona um, in the saddle. This is our new free, like, monthly kind of catalog thing. It's got, like, everything from horse shows to coupons to everything that's free. We used to have another one um, that was a really great catalog, um, and it was called Horse and Bridle, I believe, or Horse and Bit. I think it was Horse and Bit, um, and they closed down because they just couldn't get enough money to, you know, to fund this stuff. Um, so, but this is another really good one. Um, the reason why I like this one is because it is all in color, mostly. Um, it does have a lot of different photos, things like this, a lot of different markings, um, a lot of different colors, bays, palominos, paint horses. But the problem is, is that they are a little small. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of not that great all around. It's got a lot more ads in it. So, you know, if you're a horse owner, this is a good one, especially if you live in Arizona. Um, and of course, everybody and every state is going to have a different catalog. You may not necessarily have the same catalogs that I get here in Arizona, but, um, as long as you find a picture you like, you're good. Another one I really like is this one. It's called Performance Horse Connection. Um, this is a new catalog that they just started getting out and it's really nice. Um, it's a huge, pretty thick book here and it's free. Um, and the thing I like this one about is because it's got a lot of reining horses. So this is cutting and reining horses. So you can find almost any breed in here I've seen. Of course, you're not going to find a draft horse doing this, but of course. Um, so on the back, this is a nice uh, coat horse. He's a very pretty boy. Um, but, you know, you've got nice reference photo there of this um, nice white color. And then, of course, when you go in here, you can find anything from chestnut, you know, there's articles in here, palominos, very nice markings, different colors, photos of babies, um, you know, silver bay, you could find, you know, buckskins, and every, almost, I've almost seen almost every color in here. Um, you know, you'll find roans, you'll find, 
you know, anything. Um, and this is a great little free catalog for that. Um, because it shows, like, here's a whole bunch of different markings. See, we've got two different types of bald faces. Um, you know, we got this one, we got this one, you know, you get a blaze, you know, you get another blaze, no markings, you got a snip and a star. So you've got a lot of different choices when it comes to looking at the colors and the markings. Now, when we're first starting to look at colors for your first model horse to paint, um, you need to try to stay away from multicolored horses, meaning like paints or Appaloosas or something like that. Because when you're starting out, you don't understand, you know, concept of watering down acrylics and finding that right um, texture. Of course, it takes time and practice. But I always recommend starting out with a simple color, such as white. All right, so turn over the back here. So this guy is really easy. He's just basically all white, okay, with pink nose, pink around the eyes, um, blue eyes, and then, you know, he'll maybe have some pink shading under the genital area and under the tail. Um, but this is probably one of the simplest colors that you will find. Um, to do as a first time model horse artist. Um, and because this is so simple, this is where I would start, would be a white horse. Or, um, you know, moving up from there after you get this color figured out, um, you can move up from there, like say a light gray, or, um, and then when you get that down, a light gray, you could start up to, um, a chestnut or a bay, but I would leave paint horses to be your last horse that you ever try because you may get frustrated because you you it takes a lot of work to get that acrylic just right and you may get frustrated and you may ruin your first time model and you may feel sad about it. So I would start out with something like this, a perlano or a white, light gray, something like that, but um, you know, things like that. And But these catalogs are great to use in terms of finding reference photos um, for your work and so forth. So um, yeah, but you know, they're free. Um, just go to your local feed stores and they should have them. Usually they're over by the ads and so forth, but uh, yeah, I would check it out guys. Um, so yeah, that's it.